Oh, and then the dip on top. You can get deep yeah. Oh, Ooh, shit. Keep that in there. We all fail. That's a blooper right there. Hey, most people can't even do this set. Yo, what's up with the y'all? It's JD, Travel Stenics, and I'm back with another quick video. In today's video, we just got finished getting the workout in. Sunday, fun day. Just got in. Nice what, what, man, we, we really didn't have no set schedule for what we was doing today. I'm going to let my man Aday explain a little bit further on his philosophy on how he trains on the weekends because that's actually something I'm going to start incorporating myself. So basically, what's up with y'all? Basically, what I end up doing is during the week for me is training, like Monday through Friday. So I'll have something specific what I'm training for. For instance, I'm training for a competition coming up, so I'll be training for that during the week. And then on the weekend, it's working out. Which is like, I don't, like you said, I don't have anything scheduled or anything planned. But still just getting the blood pumping through the body and refreshing the muscles nothing strenuous no burning out no heavy sets no super high reps nothing to where it's going to hinder your recovery but you still can do some work so you can call it an active recovery day if you want to but it's yeah. not, nothing strenuous on the body honestly we got an extremely good pump in too i would probably say we hit almost every single part of the body yeah for sure not so bicep. much on a on a leg tip we did a, some squats some body squats and then we did kind of like some explosive frog leap squats or kind of like side frog explosive plow metric type squats but other right. than that we pretty much did upper body we hit biceps triceps hit the forearms upper close traps, grips, lower traps yeah abs, close core, grip pull-ups you know what chest, i mean all that shoulders got some band work in some exactly you got some mobility work in too exactly so i mean and and it, what it all boils down to is that you got to make your workouts fun and if you don't really enjoy it then it's that's something that you're really gonna have to deal with in terms of your right. overall health but as far as working out sometimes like you said it's more sh a strict regimen on the weekdays to where you're actually literally like look i gotta hit my legs this day or i gotta hit right. upper body this day i want to go hard tomorrow i want to work on muscle ups yeah. i want to work on some skill training i want to work on handstands but when it comes down to it on the weekends it's like man just have fun with it and we push through the rain it started yeah. raining yeah, yeah. Push through the rain, and on top of that, it's like, man, another thing I like that as a matter it, yeah. I was gonna say, being out here with a, two other people, yeah, just being yeah. out here in a group environment, yeah, exactly, energy, yeah, there's a lot of energy great. out here. And, and the thing about that is, it's like we all come, come out here with our own strengths and our own weaknesses. Right. So, a day might put me onto an exercise I've never seen before, right. I might put G onto an exercise that he ain't never seen before. And G might put a day onto an exercise that he ain't never seen before. Right. So when you work out, it's strength in numbers. Yeah, and we it, all got something to bring to the table. Everybody got some knowledge and something on it. Exactly. And on top of that, it's just, it ain't no real competition between us. But at right. the end of the day, it's like, man, if I see a day going hard, it's just going to make me want to go harder. If I see right. G going hard on something, like I just seen G at the end. You know, we all finished up the workout. I seen G putting in a little. I'm like, okay, G getting some little extra ab work. Right. It's just gonna make me like, man, maybe I want to get one more set in. You know right, what I mean? Right, right. So it's like, you might come out here with the intentions, like, man, I want to get a 45 minute workout in this Sunday. You know what I mean? We gonna take it easy, but a day come out here and he like, oh well, I, I want to start doing these, and you like, well, I wasn't really planning on doing them. I'm gonna go ahead and get them in. Right. But so and G might start doing G like okay well I want to hit my abs I'm thinking to myself well shit I gotta hit my abs too just like when I started doing them little uh, squat explosive squats over here G wanted to get in on them you know what I mean so each one teach one it's really a collaborative effort in terms of getting good workouts in getting quality workouts in and honestly it's just good time uh, good to come out here and share positive energy right. with other positive people and like-minded people at that because we kind of are all on the same trajectory in terms of the fitness we all over 30 years old me and g 35 31 years old you know what i mean out here still looking like we 22 23 you know what i mean y'all lucky we didn't take the we don't got the shirts off right now we we, we damn near rippling out of the shirts right now anyways you know but but no on, on the real though long-term health that's what we all really about it's not really about for show or for how many reps you can get in or anything like that it's more so about 
Empowering if you, each other, uplifting each other. Like exactly. Long term health. We had a we had a conversation out here, just chopping it up about diet, and talk about how some people are super strict on their diet and super rigid. And in life, if you super rigid and super strict in any area of life, you're bound to falter and you're bound to falter hard. So it's good to keep a good balance. You know what I mean? Enjoy it. Enjoy, enjoy your food. Enjoy what you're doing. Enjoy your workout. Sometimes don't go as hard. It's just like how we did today. This wasn't super rigid or super strict. And even on the diet tip, I was just telling them how last night I almost ate a whole deep dish pizza to the neck. And I had a bowl. I got some bacon cheeseburgers at the house I'm about to make. <laughs> exactly. Beef bacon. Yeah, exactly. So, so you know what I mean? Right. So it's it's like, man, you got to enjoy yourself too. Yeah. And I see a day on the grind every single day on the weekdays. I be seeing him meal prepping and everything. And G always be sending me pictures of all the stuff he be making. G yeah. eating all these greens and avocados and stuff like that. Sending me But it's keeping me on my toes this? too. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Yeah, I'll, <laughs> yeah, I'll tag you. Can I get inspired? <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? So ex exactly. So we all keep it fair predominantly healthy but at the end of the day you got to enjoy life Man, for real. don't be too hard on yourself don't even take yourself too seriously sometimes take yourself very serious but sometimes ease up on yourself because at the end of the day we're all our worst critics we're all our harshest critics that is but anyways you guys i just wanted to share with you guys this workout that we got in and you're gonna see a lot more of these two in my videos just because i'm gonna be coming back out to oakland on a regular basis and as a matter of fact, we in Oakland right now. I think the name I of this Cesar park Chavez is Caesar Chavez Park on Foothill. They Hill. took the um, hoops off the basketball court, so I couldn't I get that, my yeah. man. You yeah, know hey, we gonna, we, hey, yeah. Yeah. As a matter of fact, we're going to we gonna, we gonna get that on video, too. We're going to get the, the hoop you competition. Know? That's going to be on video, too. It's we'll have G good. filming. He don't hoop like that, so, <laughs> so, he'll, so he'll, he'll film no, I'll that. I'll take a couple shots. But anyways, y'all, that's it, man. We had a great time out here today. Go ahead and subscribe to my man, a day's channel. Hit him, uh, subscribe to him on uh, Instagram as well, Mind Body Fitness. G's channel is Chasing Success After Prison on YouTube. And his Instagram, I believe, is GK. RB16. There you go. 16. He can say it better than me. It's an and, acronym for that, but I'll say that for later. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> hey, you got to subscribe to his shit before he lets you know what that means. Yeah. But, anyways, subscribe to my shit too if you ain't subscribed to that. But subscribe to all of our channels if you guys want to know more about fitness, overall growth on the mental aspect of things the spiritual aspect of things mind body soul like my man's mind body fitness holla at you guys on the next video in the next collaboration peace